effective, this is something from my heart. Yeah. How can we have an effective relationship living the life that we live? What part of the life? Like, you know, in these streets at night. Out on these streets, you mean? Man, these comedy <laughs> streets is wild, son. <laughs> Like uh, LA is not that wild. See, I think that that's what it is. I think yeah. LA is very tame, like Cleveland, Chicago. Yeah. Like those kind of places people sleep on, that's the crazy shit. Like Cleveland, Ohio is wild as fuck. Really? You can get drunk as hell for like $9. Yeah. That's, like you, really you, you can have, hey, let me have a Grey Goose Dirty Martini. Uh, two fifty. <laughs> like $2.50. Yeah. People are laughing at Cleveland That's crazy. Right like, now. what? Fuck Cleveland. Well... Uh, that's no, just the, that's like that's the America, you know. That's like yeah. those. No, I don't really drink that America. much either. Yeah. That's the other thing. So I'm, a, I'm not like out trying to party every night. Clean living, kind of. And that's what. The, well, you don't eat meat. Yeah, I don't eat meat. I don't really do much. <laughs> I barely smile. Because <laughs> you know, in in these streets, man, people have like made this Neil Brennan Lord. Like you're sort of like <laughs> of what? Oh yeah, you're like I'm like man, he cool. He write funny movies, man. He be on pitches, man. Oh, uh, you know what's funny? I had a reputation, which I didn't realize. My girlfriend told me. She was like, oh, you know, yeah. people like, you have like a reputation. I was like, really? Like, you, uh, yeah, they think you smoke weed, fuck bitches, and just kick it. I don't smoke it. weed. See, people thought that. <laughs> yeah, I don't smoke weed. You would think I would have baked. I yeah, should. never ever? I Like, the last time I smoked was when we were shooting half baked. <laughs> yeah. 1997. The 90s? The last time. Yeah, that's the last time I smoked weed. On a boat in Toronto. Dude, that was so long ago, TVs weighed two tons. TVs were heavy. <laughs> and TVs they were, were heavy as fuck in they 1997. They were square. They were square, square. as fuck. Wow, yes. that's, how you, that's how I put time. And like, how heavy were TVs? That's yeah. how I gave time. Very heavy. Like, call somebody. So you're like clean living, clean living as far as like what... I just mean? never like weed. I just never liked... I, would, I think I've only done coke once, but I feel like I would like coke more <laughs> than weed. I wouldn't like it. I don't know. That's not my thing. <laughs> but the thing about Coke is no one goes, that's my thing. <laughs> no, I disagree. <laughs> no one ever goes, oh, Coke, that's my shit. Cocaine people think that. No, they act like it, but they don't say it. No, I've heard people say, man, I love Coke. Coke is my shit. I've heard people say Who? <laughs> I've, I've Who? heard that Describe the last person ago. who said that. Who? <laughs> Fuck it, Molly Adams. My Molly co my, the co-host of my radio show. The chick In who, Chicago? Yeah. She, I don't remember what she looked like. Yeah, like unassuming ch white chick from Maine. Mm. And I get mad, like, don't do that. Like, I yeah. get really, like, concerned person, like older black concerned person, like the help. Like, yeah. baby, don't do that cocaine, baby. That's bad, baby. You don't got to do all that, baby. You beautiful, yeah, baby. Yeah, you don't need to do that powder. Because yeah. in my mind, in my community... Black people don't do powder. They might do powder. Do like jazz musicians do powder? <laughs> kind if of. Get, if they get it from white people. How? Don't put this on us. I do because was <laughs> black people can't afford powder cocaine. They smoke yeah. crack. Not do people still smoke crack? You really pronounced it too. Crack. <laughs> yeah. Do people oh, no. really still smoke oh, crack? Oh man, you know what? I found out, like in like. Out by Chicago, like Northwest Indiana, yeah, like regular ass white people smoke crack, like no biggie. Well, yeah, that's the funny about the thing about the war on drugs is white people are starting to die, and now we can. And now white people are like, this, we've got to end this war on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Like yeah. this with these punitive sentences and these addictions, like it's really, it's they're outwhiting themselves. Yeah, because I I, rem I remember I got I got locked up one time. Have you ever smoked crack or done powder? I've done powder like twice and just didn't like it. It just made me sad. Really? It was fun, and then like six minutes later, I'm like, oh, what a... uh, <laughs> uh, You start thinking about all the bad things you've done in life, and then. All and then, in life? All the bad things and then, you know, you've life. done. Like, I remember that one time. Uh, <laughs> and then it don't make your dick work. And honestly, f for my community, like. I know that's it, important. Yeah, it, it's like that a is working like, dick is 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 pretty important. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and if you if you're in your mid thirties, and you're in the prime of your life, and your dick doesn't work. Yeah. That's it's hurtful. It's over, son. Yeah. Like like 
Bill Paxton alien. It's over, bro. Uh, that. Yeah, must have movie buff reference. Fuck it. I did it. And that's why I don't, I don't, that's why I don't do powder. Now, that Adderall. Yeah. You like fuck with that, Adderall? I fuck with that, man. <laughs> what does Adderall do to you? It's like the responsible cousin of cocaine. Yeah. Right? The cocaine with a job. Cocaine with a job and, like, Obamacare. Yeah. You know, that's, that's what the fuck Adderall is. You yeah. know, like, you ain't sucking dick on Santa Monica. Yeah. You get things done. Yeah. You know, that's why I love your Adderall joke. Because it's like these, these kids nowadays, I think, if they had Adderall in the 90s, motherfucker, yeah. you still would have quality hip-hop today. That's the first place my head went to, but I'm trying to think, like... Feel me, like, you would have still had, like, if you gave Adderall to, like, Tribe Called Quest, they love Well, no, that's what I was thinking. Uh, Buster Rhymes would not eat Adderall. He would, but he wouldn't be so fat. That's right. Didn't that hurt your feelings? Didn't that hurt your fucking feelings when he got Uh fat? uh If you get me fucked up enough, I do Buster Rhymes impersonations. (laughs) I'm so bummed he got fat. He's fat as fuck. Yeah. And I'm saying, in my theory, because I like to talk to Neil, because Neil's smart, and, he can, and you will you will entertain a conspiracy theory. That's I why. I, I hate them, though. But a ridiculous Go, yeah, one. Give me one. Listen, I feel... And that shit with Hannibal, yeah, that Cosby shit, that's real. That's real. That's real. It's fucking I real. feel... No conspiracy. The people don't want poor people to get on pills. Like, you know how these new rappers... Well, you know how cocaine started with slaves, right? You ever, you ever watch that? No, white guy. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about slaves. They started giving cocaine oh, to slaves. Yeah. To make them work more. And it's like the classic war on drugs. So then they work more. Is but then like, are we writing a comedy right no, now? No, this that is true. Funny. This is in the History Channel, History of Drugs, cocaine. Uh, they start, and then they, they'd be done with work, and they'd be coked up. Then they started going after white women, and then the cops needed a higher caliber gun to stop the cocaine uh, Negro. So they well, start, it's like literally by the numbers fucking discrimination. Man, Look it up. so smart, but that still sounds like, because someone pull off a slapstick comedy of like slaves on coke. <laughs> All right, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Could someone get away with that, you think? If, if you made it funny. Tarantino, I mean, fucking the all. end of Django was kind of like that. Sam fucking yelling and all that shit. Tarantino could do it. Yeah. Tarantino could make a movie about slaves on coke and it's funny, <laughs> heartwarming. Mm-hmm. They escape. Uh huh. Credits. <laughs> yes. Yep. Punching dogs in the face. And shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's, that's funny. Okay. Yeah. What are, you, what are you working on now that we can talk about? Uh, what am I? I'm doing a TV. I got a pilot. I got a show, stand-up show called Three Mics that I'm going to do in New York for a while. Okay. And I just did like literally ten commercials that are going to start airing. For now, what do you kind of show is this? One is in the one's for the Super Bowl. It's a Bud Light ad, starring two famous comedians. That shan't be named. That shan't be named. Because of the Super Bowl ad. Yeah. Ooh. For Bud Light. Yeah. Oh, that's serious then. It's pretty. It's like pretty funny. So that's. <laughs> that's. Like so, when you and that's what I'm saying. When you start getting that Super Bowl money, that's that's cheddar. I didn't. Get, it, they didn't give you more though. They don't go. Well, this is Aaron, so you get more. They just whatever. Really? No. <laughs> no, but if you have some on the Super Bowl, it's it's like they'll it's other people want to work with you. So you got that going on. What yep. else? And uh, I got a pilot that I'm trying to get at Amazon. And do you live you live here permanently in in, in L.A. now? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. What about you, man? Well, I'm, I'm, this is the first show here, First Amendment. It looked like it went pretty well. What do you guys think? You're damn right. Right? You are damn right. Right? We're going to do it uh, We're gonna do it next week, next Tuesday. Uh, I think we have this big fancy Bernie Sanders thing. What's, what's your take on that real quick? I mean, I wish we lived in a world where he could win. What? Let me just All right. Because he's ugly. <laughs> yeah. Period. But he's you know, fucking weird. Something? He's too shaggy. I looking. know, I know, I know, I know. But hear me out. <laughs> Flip through a fucking encyclopedia. Them Taft, ugly as fuck. Abraham yeah, before Lincoln TV. Yeah, Once TV nice. started, yeah, you had to be have your shit together. Once Kennedy. Kennedy beat Nixon on looks. 
Straight up. They, yeah. the, their big debate, people that listen on radio thought Nixon won, and people that watched on TV were But like, is, is Donald Trump fine? He's charismatic. I don't know if he's fine. I don't, in fact, I know I do. He's not fine. Um, <laughs> But there's but there's some woman out there like in Sarasota, Florida, who would fuck Trump. Yeah. My girl asked me the other day. She goes, "What do you think Trump's body looks like?" Ugh. Oh, he has an ET body. I totally agree. He has. Fuck it. Where it's a all just pale, sort of melting. Like ribs. Yep. And like little titty flops, yep. little floppity titties. Little nips and ribs. Yeah, and, and a saggy chest. ass. Mm, yeah, a little slack ass. The whole thing is just yeah. Reverse triangles like where it's up. Too much back and then like a little butt cheek. And he hunch fucks. Go on, like, talk like, to me about that. He fucks from the shoulders. You supposed to fuck from the hips, like pow pow. He fucks from the shoulders and mm, yeah, 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 yeah. a lot of lips and mm, yeah, hunch fucking. Doing stuff yeah, with his hair. Yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. And then he comes on himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that yeah. note, we're out. Hey, give it up for Neil Brennan. Thank you, everybody, for coming out here you, to the Laugh Factory. Uh, we're going to do this again next Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Please tell your friends.